So this is a tool specifically designed for tracking behavior-based safety program and by that I mean your HSE observation cards, safety observation cards, active cards, action card, shock card, however you call it at your workplace. This tool can help you to build a database of these cards in order to generate some insightful reports. And some of the reports will be the number of cards that have been generated in a month, um, how many actions are open and closed, who has submitted the most card or who actively participate in keeping the workplace safe and also this tool is very good and without further ado let's get straight into it so like most of our tools we have the table of contents where you can actually navigate through the workbook by just clicking here now over here is the approved list where we've provided a list of categories all right of the observations and we've categorized them into negative and positive so under negative we have observations like crossing barriers, PP non-compliance, horse play, and a positive, we have good housekeeping, good PP compliance, right tool for the job. So you can actually build on the list of, you know, these observation categories and make sure that you categorize them under negative and positive because the approved list actually populates in the source data as a drop down. All right. Now over here, you have the list of companies that you want to track. So you keep the list in here and then we have the type of cards. So we have positive card, negative card. That is based on your own workplace. You can actually change it to reactive cards, proactive card, reactive cards, however you call it, that's up to you. And then over here you have the action observation status. So either open or close. So this is the source data. This is the main working area where you would provide the list, the company that you want to track, all right, the type, the date, the type of card, whether positive or negative, the observation, the observation category, all right, where you can select from the negative, you know, or the positive. That's why you need to keep the list on the approved list, always updated. And then you would select the person who made the observation, any evidence you want to attach, any corrective action that have been proposed and any evidence of clo closure, closure, all right? Just in case you have closed the observation, you can attach an image to it. And then you can actually indicate it here. And then the data it was closed, all right? Based on the data it was registered and the date that it was closed, you are going to know the closing days that was used, that's the closing variance. And then it was closed by who, okay? Who has inspected it and the remarks that you want to give. So this is actually the source data and this information will be coming from your, you know, observation cards, all right? Now, having built a database of all the cards or the details in the cards, you need to go to a data tab on the menu and you click on refresh all for the dashboard to update. Now, this dashboard comprises of a lot of insightful reports. So we have the number of observations in total, all right? So we need to make sure that you, you clear all the filters so that you can have a full overview of what is in the in the database all right so we have 38 observations you know two are open 36 have been closed 15 are positive observations negative observations are 23 and you can tell the trend all right so you can tell the trend and you can tell the breakdown all right by contractors or and then and, and then the clients right depending on the information that is on the database 
okay and then we have the various categories the one that is actually the the most reported category so under negative observation you can tell that bad welfare has always been the one people are always reporting on when it comes to positive then we can tell pp you know non-compliance has always been the one that good safety behavior and all right so sometimes just take note that um, whatever the classification is in the source data that's what get produced in there so under for instance positive you know observation we have something on pp non-compliance that's that's right that we need to change it to good pp compliance all right so baggage in baggage out you need to make sure whatever you enter is correct so if i click on refresh or you realize that now under positive we have good pp uh, there's still pp non-compliance in there that's quite strange so i need to make sure that the information in there is correct so under pp all right all right so we didn't really take time to quality check the 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 quality of data in there but you all get a get a point you are making that whatever you enter in there is what get produced all right so whatever we enter get produced basically so we need to make sure that the data in there is always right and then you have the right reports generated for you okay so so that's just by the way all right now over here we have the number of observations the trend of the observation by month so you can tell whether the trend is coming up or going down over here we have the number of the categories for the various observations where you can actually you know use the type of card to filter and know which category exactly you want to report on and over here we have the breakdown whether for the product sorry the breakdown for card according to companies that are tracking so we have currently subcontractor and clients all right now to show you how to use this tool obviously you need to make sure that the categories are all correct the categories can be updated as you go so it's not a big deal but just make sure you keep updating it whenever you find a new category and then you make sure your company is in there all right and then take your time to get rid of the data so over here you want to get rid of the data and get it get ours in there so we take our time now if you are deleting just take note of this column you know if you try to update you're gonna get feedback just watch the formula bar you notice there's a function in there so don't waste your time just focus on areas that there are no you know function in the formula bar all right so just delete okay take your time to get rid of the data all right over here so we can delete it right this area has a formula in there in the formula bar so you cannot get rid of it and here we can equally delete all right so there's nothing in our worksheet so what we need to do next is that we come to we go to a data tab and click on refresh all i just want to do it on a dashboard so you can see how that's actually translate on the dashboard and you realize that all the other reports are gone okay all the other reports are gone so basically what we need to do is to make sure that we now build our database based on the details that we get from the cards that get submitted to us or the safety department and then we can have all the insightful reports that we can utilize for our internal reporting or for our meetings and stuff so let me quickly bring back the data as we are going to need it all right all right perfect so now that the data is back we just want to make sure that everything updates accordingly so we just click on refresh all to make sure that everything is in there all right so that's it guys this is one of the best templates that you're going to find for behavior based safety program you know tracking and it's, it helps to generate some reports which you can utilize for your safety meetings for your safety awards to, re to reward the person who continuously you know and actively participating 
workplace arrangements like submitting cards, reporting on hazards and on safe conditions and all of that. So thanks guys for the attention. If you're interested in this template, don't hesitate to get in touch and I'll be more than glad to engage you. Thank you.